This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Day update for Tuesday, November 26, 2013. I'm Kemar Jordan. The Minister of Labor has stepped in to the impasse between the Barbados Water Authority and the Barbados Workers' Union. The last-ditch effort comes less than an hour before the union's highest decision-making body was to meet on intensifying industrial action. Rand Jills now reports. At 4.38 this evening, the doors to the main conference room here at the Ministry of Labor in Warrens were closed and talks headed by Minister of Labor and Social Security, Senator Dr. F. Tobias Oku, the Chief Labor Officer, Vincent Burnett. There was a delegation from the Barbados Workers' Union that's led by Mark Trotman, and officials from the Barbados Water Authority, led by the Chairman, Dr. Atley Braffert, and also the Acting General Manager, Dr. John Wanza, got underway. Now, these are seen as last-ditch efforts to starve off the BWU, wrapping up its strike action against the BWA. I spoke to Sir Roy as he led his delegation in at around 432 here at the Warren's Government Office Complex, and he told me that he'd come to meet with the Labour Minister, who had undertaken, in accordance with her constitutional role, he said, to conciliate in the dispute. The Union's Executive Committee, they were to meet this evening at 5 at Solidarity House, and as you could appreciate, that meeting has now been pushed back as they await the outcome of these talks which, Sir Roy says, will be a heavy factor in determining their next move. The offices of the Labour Department here in Warrens for Barbados Today, I'm Ryan Jones. Thank you, Ryan. All but two ministries of government have been able to rein in their spending. This from Minister of Finance, Chris Sinclair, who says the ministries of Education and Tourism are still off target. And if they continue on their current spending curve, they'll be $20 million off the mark. The other bad news for government's coffers is that revenue collection is down. The major areas of concern for us are revenues in relation to taxes on incomes and profits, which uh, we have realized today $162 million less than, than what we would have projected for a period uh, compared to the previous year, and in particular, um, corporation taxes, which are down by $62.7 million. Sinclair gave that report in Parliament today as he introduced the Consolidation Tax Bill. Hoteliers have been told government is working on concessions for them, but just what they'll get is still anybody's guess. Executive Vice President of the Hotel and Tourism Association, Sue Springer, says the group has had meetings with the Ministers of Finance and Tourism on getting the same suite of concessions as Sandals International. We have had meetings with both of the ministers, and um, we, the last letter that we sent, we have had an acknowledgement stating that the minister is working on these concessions. And what our message is really today is that we are very happy that he is working on them. But as we approach the winter season, it is really imperative that we can move forward on the winter season with an even playing field. Armed and dangerous, that's how St. Lucia police are describing Barbadian Sylvester Augustine, who's been on the run there since Sunday. And they've warned residents in Castries to approach him with caution. Augustine escaped from a police station where he was being held for gun possession and threatening to kill his girlfriend. In sports, the West Indies Cricket Board could be cutting combined campuses and colleges from their regional tournaments next year. A final decision will be made next week. But WICB CEO Michael Moorhead says it looks like the CCC will be out. He says it's partly the result of commercial reasons, but he gave no other details. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. 
In regional news, at least 10 Haitian migrants are dead and dozens more were rescued after an overloaded sail freighter capsized off the Bahamas. The U.S. Coast Guard says about 100 people may have survived. All of the survivors were taken to the Bahamas for medical treatment. Internationally now, Thailand's embattled Prime Minister is facing a no-confidence motion. Lawmakers will debate the motion for the next two days ahead of a scheduled vote on Thursday. Meantime, anti-government protesters continue to occupy the Finance Ministry building, which was stormed yesterday and turned into a second command center. That's our 6 p.m. update. Join us at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Until then, log on to www.barbetstay.bb for more news and sports. And subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Have a great evening. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Sun power.